we manually have to go through the stronghold, which is this way. I don't know where the other side is though. We never found another side. And where is the place where I can stick my uh, flag? It's bright blue. You can't miss it, right? Yet I've managed to miss it already. Ooh, door. Is that always open? I don't know. Okay. Now that we're going this way, clear the area. Oh shit. Hi boys! I didn't see the trapper there. Oh god. You made the mistake of moving. Oh god, there's heaps of guys that way. Ooh, this is a terrible place to defend. Keep moving then, keep moving. Let's keep going. Great. Cool. Go around this way. It's a very slow death for you. I'm patient. Goodbye. Really? I dare you to stick your head back out. Don't have all day. Thank you. Are you behind the vehicle? Or what? Oh damn it, I've just used it on the rifle. Charlie was not aiming at her correctly. Her, it, them. Way too high. It's just you. Okay, I'm gonna have to go around. It's fine. Oh, there's more ammo over here. Oh no, right for that never mind. Whoa, where'd you come from? You totally weren't there two seconds ago. Sheesh. Ha! Thought you could hit me, didn't you? I think the splatter would go that far, but I know the splatter doesn't go that far. 
<sighs> okay, rolling the shoulders back. Getting into the groove. Because we're going to have one more of Kung's fighters and then Kung's going to bloody be here. At some point, surely. Yeah, that's the quest to do either him or his friend. I don't know. Oh, God. Kung's captain. Yeah. Lead him around. Probably should have gone down first, then up, but whatever. Done now. Oh, we're just gonna keep stun off him, are we? That would have been nice. I like running though. Running is nice. Running helps me live, buddy. Funnily enough. I think I get to survive. Okay, so all that's left is Kong, and that must be the quest up ahead. Aww. Can't go over there. Where case came from, Miss Your Twit. Woo! Purple. Some boots. We definitely gonna have to sort through that inventory later. Flight to Enoch. Tickets to the Flores. A loose page from Skurlock's journal. In the early days of the Flores' construction, many found themselves working on the ship for long, hard hours. Some were content to know the world would end long after they died and were satisfied enough just to have a job. But there were those who began to question why there was no promise or even a prospect of gaining a seat on the ship they were building. In fact, much of the ECA's plans regarding the ship were shrouded in secrecy. How many could fit aboard the ship? Who had boarding priority? How were these decisions made? Oof, this is a long one. As these questions started to gain traction, the ECA feared an outright mutiny from their workforce. In response, they created the three-ticket system to inspire their workers, but most importantly, to incentivize them to keep their heads down. Golden tickets were a guarantee of a spot on the Flores, given to the most essential personnel, such as engineers and scientists. Silver tickets were the backup list, those who would inherit golden tickets in the event their original owners were to die or resign. Finally, bronze tickets were given to the workers of the lower class, to be entered into a lottery at the end of the ship's construction with thousands of seats up for grabs. I was about to say, question was, did that actually mean anything? Of course, the tickets were useless. Most of them had no idea the ECA had already decided who had bought the Flores beforehand. Mostly crucial personnel, scientists, and the upper class comprised of politicians, corporate owners, and their families. Those who had been granted their place were handed a similar unmarked, digitally encrypted black token to signify their right to a seat. If they were to ever attempt to reveal the truth about the three tickets, their seat would be forfeit. Every single token holder took their secret to Enoch. The UCA knew exactly what they had to do, not only to ensure their own survival, but the survival of the species. If we had to do the same in the forest, I must take a page from their playbook. Mm-hmm. Oh, but we didn't get... Oh, we, we did... No, it's insurgents. We didn't get lore about him. Hmm. That's worrying. Does that mean he has another one hiding back here? Well, this should be interesting. Yeah, well... Count me in. Man-eater. Breaker, man-eater, Grant. Okay, so no, this must be the final dude. Deranged cannibal. Wait, what? Kung was was ah uh, housing a cannibal. News of a dying earth pushed religious tensions in many regions over the edge. Minority religious communities were imprisoned indefinitely or held inside internment camps. Grant's mother was a doctor employed in secret at a school that re-educated children in those camps. After witnessing the horrors carried out there, she escaped, taking a child with her that she later on adopted, Brago. She joined the Doctors Beyond Borders, and her medical expertise earned her and Brago a place on the Flores. 
She is thought to have forged Brago's medical report, hiding his troubled psyche, something that would have otherwise barred him from the Flores. After Dr. Grant's death to the storms that hit the first city, Brago blamed the ECA and joined Corrigan's troop of independence. He was feared by many of his fellow soldiers for his unsettling behaviour. Brago escaped when Corrigan uncovered his hideout in the outskirts of Trenchtown, when he became known as the Maneater. He had killed and hidden an estimated 20 people there, having cut them into parts and turned them into food. After he disappeared, he found his way into the forest and joined Kung's fighters. Many that his disturbed psyche found a home killing and chopping bodies to fuel Skurlock's treatment. Of course, they're a match made in heaven. This is revolting. Let's go. Oh, good God. My haste to finish that cup of Pepsi Max, it hit straight at the back of my throat. Oh god. <coughs> I'm just gonna die over here, not so quietly. Ugh. That was really quiet. Okay, I don't think my airways are clear yet, but you know, let's just go with it. Give me a sec. Re yeah. Readjusting a chair. So, he's in the drenched caverns, but this can continue on this way. To where exactly, and why? Do the answer to that, but let's go. Let's go die. Oh, we're climbing. No, oh, well, should be no issue for her. Muscles and uh, agility for days. <clears throat> nope, still haven't cleared me away sufficiently. Okay. Are they going to come out of that hut? Oh, I've got to go through that <coughs> hut. <coughs> God. Ugh. Oh man, <clears throat> that was terrible. Who's behind you? Trapper. There's a dude back there somewhere. <clears throat> Down front. What you doing there, boy? <clears throat> oh boy, now we're a little closer than I would like. To be. Damn it. <clears throat> Very rude. Oh, hi. That must have been you. <clears throat> well, tier 10. Great. Just in time for this boss battle. Mm -mm. That was well timed. I, of course, say highly sarcastically. Oh, oh, we're 22 now. That means we get the last skill. That's what I want. That's what I want. Well, not really, but close enough. Uh, unclaim rewards and like world tier 10. It gives us, ooh, clips. That sounds pretty. What's that gonna look like? That's pretty. I'm pretty generic in OG though. I really like, I really like my OG. I really don't want to undo it. <clears throat> yeah, what others have we grabbed and I haven't looked at? That, eh, looks all right. Yeah, that's it. I still prefer mine over everything. Uh, 
Which one was it? Was that one right? Yeah. Still prefer it. <clears throat> oh, skills. Duh. Skills. We've unlocked eruption. Create a volcanic eruption. Holy fuck. <laughs> Beneath the selected enemy, dealing 1289 damage to all enemies within a small radius to the, of the target. The eruption spews lava, dealing damage over time within a small area. Oh my god. I guess that would get rid of my bomb and I'd use eruption instead. But so many of my abilities pertain to my thermal bomb. Actually, what are you? You're only explosive, you're not interrupt, so you're my only interrupt then. That's a problem. That is a problem. Hmm. <clears throat> but look at the other guys go flying! Uh, I don't have any mods related to that. Do I? I can't check mods from the screen. I'm not going to equip it until we finish this boss battle because I've got mods that already enhance what I have. So it's smarter to just continue with what I've got and fix it later. Oop. Is that just ammo up here or is this a bit of loot? It's a bit of loot. Fantastic. Thank you. And then we go. Oh, no, 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 Cancel, 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 cancel. There's, there's law back there. Oh, good. It's a bridge we physically have to cross. Yay. I thought I saw this behind somebody's back earlier. Kung's journal. Why does everybody keep a journal? It's so abnormal. Not keeping a journal is abnormal, don't get me wrong, that's perfectly fine. But the number of people in this world keeping journals, and in games in general who keep journals, is abnormal. Skullock thinks he can hold his sword above my head forever. <clears throat> but the doctor ain't getting younger. It's only a matter of time before he kicks it and leaves us in the shit. I've told him he needs to share what he knows for the good of our people, but the bastard knows me too well. He took Juno under his ring... Wow, under his wing. But I know he did it just to spite me. He's well aware I don't trust the woman. The people of his enclave love her as much as they fear me. I suspect Skurlock's already shown her how to make the treatment, though I have no proof. But if I find out it's true, I'm making my move, because when push comes to shove, I know which of the two of us will motivate these assholes more. He's not wrong. Right. Tip the pretty bridge. Bulk up my ammo and die. getting around me. There's a sniper. Oh, I was dead. I didn't realize I had so little health. Did not realize at all. You up with the poison right off the bat, honestly. Yeah, I'm gonna stay back here if that sniper uh, is gonna throw on shit. I can't. There you are. That sniper has gotta go. I don't know if that dude back there can get me from here. Oh god. Oh, 
guy up top. Oh god, I do so little damage, it's not funny. I'm gonna run out of ammo before I kill the sniper. Ow. I'm so dead. Oh, that's him! Oh, fuck me! Oh, and she's still not dead? Oh, now she is. Change gun. Get in cover. Ooh. I can't afford to have this person right next to me. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm dead. I'm literally dead. There was nothing I can do there. Not a single thing. Oh, that sniper was really fucking me over. Freaking sniper. work for other people. It doesn't really work for me, but, you know, whatever. I need to get up to that sniper. Oh god, oh god. I can see the damn bone eater. Bone eater, man eater. Hmm, oh, same principle, I suppose. There's just so many people here. Shit. No. There's. Look at that map. There are so many people here. But I can't stop and get the sniper. Because then I just get swarmed by the bus. <laughs> this is hard. I don't really know what strategy they're uh, gunning for me to employ here. I don't feel like I'm generating enough health from these attacks. Why you're all shiny and red? No. All it takes is two shots from the sniper and I'm down. I don't know how to do this shit. I can't go behind cover because they just run. They just rush me. Try and get rid of the sniper. With old mate coming down.
Truth on a valid target? Oh shit, everyone's coming in behind me. Oh my god, everyone's running me. Everyone's running me! Go! Holy fuck me! Somebody needs to die, alright? I don't care who it is. Somebody needs to die to give me some help. Oh my god. I just... <laughs> there are so many people here! <laughs> I don't know how to get rid of them. And no matter how many times I do this, it's not going to yield a different result because I'm not doing it any differently. Staying in the one place doesn't work. Running out doesn't work. They're the little only two options I have. Stupid cows. Such an issue. And this, this level isn't like I can even kite like in all the others. Kiting is not working. How did that miss? That miss. Him. Fucking man eater. <laughs> Just... I have no clue what it physically wants me to do. I can't stay here to try and take out the sniper. But I can't go in deeper because there's too many of them. I honestly, to God, do not know what they want of me. I just have no clue. I can't run and gun, clearly, because that shit doesn't work. I feel like I need to move. I can't stay here. I need to keep going. Staying here is just going to end in death for me. But how do I move when I just get attacked when I do? And he's just going to follow me anyway. Takes us one hit and I'm dead, especially from the sniper. Oh my god! What am I supposed to do? They just follow! <laughs> I just. 
just have no fucking clue. the record no I didn't mean to go over the barricade I meant to stay behind it Pumped. fuck the controls in this game
I cannot believe that I've had to drop my world tier to eight to get through that. That's stupid. I am not impressed by that at all. It's the first time I've had to drop down the world tier. And the fact that I had to drop it down at two marks just to go through this quest really pisses me off. It shouldn't have been necessary. It should not have been necessary. But there were just freaking bullet sponges on the world tier 10. These guys are absolute bullet sponges. You could visibly see the difference of how quickly they went down now compared to how long it took me just to get the single dude down last time. Oh, I've got a headache now. I don't know if it's a stress headache or what, but I'm irritated. I should not have had to drop that difficulty at all. Uh, it's just a restock. Yeah, no special loot then. Five hundred and four. No wonder I've got a surplus of iron. Oh my god. Whew. That's a lot of iron. <sighs> okay, well, we still don't know what that is for, unless that was the quest quest. I don't know. But we need to go to the camp if we want to depart. But I've got to spend the next half hour getting rid of this excess shit, I guess. And figuring out what mods I've got that can help with eruption. Because the fact that I can do Thermobomb twice is like immensely beneficial. So cutting that back and only being able to do eruption once. And have you seen the cooldown? It takes forever to cool down. I kid you not. Half a minute cooldown compared to 11 seconds. So unless the mods can make it useful, I don't see it happening. Outrider, I can't thank you enough. Unsent letter from Zahidi. Grand Marshal Gutman, I have no way, no way of ensuring this communique will ever reach you, but I feel it important to at least keep contemporaneous? Don't know why you had to go for that word. Notes in case of my premature death. I need to inform you that I have grave concerns about the altered you have put in charge of our mission. Well, that's offensive. This outrider, this ex-mercenary's actions of late have caused me to fear a capacity for rashes that does not bode well for future leadership. What, because I killed the dude who was selectively murdering people? Today the outrider killed a fellow scientist, in cold blood. A brilliant chemist who had solved a problem our best had struggled with for most of our history on this planet. We should remember his name, Dr. Nathan Skurlock. The man responsible for at last creating a treatment for the fungus and opening the forest to humanity. Zahidi... How about you go have a chat with August and her people and see how they feel about uh, Dr. Nathan Skurlock. That being said, I must admit the doctor's methods were disturbed. Although he sacrificed the few to save the many and seemed to conduct his choice of victim in a most fair way, there is still no question that he considered a cure successful despite needing to kill for it. And yes, I must admit that his death lottery selected me for his next victim, and I had no compunctions about sacrificing my life for his... We need you, you idiot! And I must admit as well, that had it not been for your Outriders to me rescue, I would not be here to write these notes. And from the Outriders' point of view, I'm sure it was a clear win, killing off the mad scientist and preventing the mission failure that would have resulted from my death. The Outrider did what heroes do, but is it what leaders do? Who said I'm supposed to be a leader? I'm not a leader, I'm a bloody mercenary. That man was a scientist, and there were so few of us left. So, because there are so few scientists, even if they're a sadistic fuck or a, or a cannibal or whatever we're supposed to prize them because they've got knowledge screw you Zahidi but again that being said I am alive because of this outrider perhaps I judge too harshly perhaps I should only be grateful needless to say my emotions right now are complex and conflicted if one day this community ever reaches you Grand Marshal Gutman know this despite my doubts I will continue to follow this outrider you have bestowed this mission upon if there is one doubt I do not have it is the outrider's ability to see this mission to its end yeah, well, I guess it's that. Alright, it's Tahiti. Tahiti. Oh, that was your tent I was totally at. Okay. Anything of use. Real attractive, as per usual. Okay, it's one level higher, but a lot extra armor. We get anomaly power back, thankfully, though I lose the bonus firepower. I think we'll see status bonus. All in all, it's nice. Pompeii eruption. The skill can be activated one more time before triggering the cooldown. Yeah, but the cooldown is repulsive. 30 seconds. Like, are you joking? That's ridiculous. 
Hmm. Protection of the flames. Killing enemies marked by Pyromancer with a weapon increases your armor by 909 and resistance by 10% for 15 seconds. Stacks up three times. Yeah, I mean, that's better than the other one I had. So, without a doubt, I'm going to equip it, but... Helmet. So we either go with Big Boom, which gives me my radius, or um, we keep Eruption. But, oh my god, it's just, that's terrible. Absolutely terrible. So which is the best you? Ew, but I don't want to wait you though. Giga Blast Eruption. I've already got this. Increases the skill radius by 100%. Oof. We definitely need... Need Giga Blast. <laughs> so it's one I already have. I don't have to worry about that. Bloody boost. Boost your damage against enemies afflicted with bleed by 15%. Yeah, but I don't inflict bleed. Like ever. Ah, okay. So we're going to lose something. Though if we're getting rid of Thermal Bomb, that's okay. We can keep the Volcanic. But I don't... And then I could keep the Giga Blast there and change out the bloody boost. You know? So there is that if I could suffer through the weird chest piece. Or we take the slightly less armor. Oh my god, I'm wearing a level 22 piece of gear. No wonder I struggle. I lose, I lose the anomaly power. What were you giving? Anomaly power, of course you were. Um, oh, and I lose the cooldown reduction as well. Mm. Save the feeble. Increases the duration of weakness by 50%. Question. Can I re-roll skills but all in all that's less effective than this this is far more effective i just lose the cooldown reduction which is shit so armor we don't need the giga boost anymore because we're keeping it we need to change it to question mark volcanic rounds question mark is that what it was called well it's not actually technically what it's called uh, it was armor melting. Question mark. Slot two. I hate it. I really, really, really hate it, but... Not the biggest fan, but, you know. Needs must. Oh, we're finally racking up titanium. It's about time. I do like these two together, so I'm pretty loath to get rid of it. So you're the highest. Ugh. It's not very attractive. What have I got here? I've got, oh yeah, see, this was very useful, but I can't afford for it to go up three whole levels. Hmm. Both those things are good. Burning ground and uh, lava shots are both very good. Hmm, I mean, Drown 1 is probably also very useful, but I should see how it looks first, because I said I'm not equipping it if it looks terrible. Hmm, not the biggest fan of the front piece, but I guess the crotch bit matches the top bit. Not the biggest fan, so why have they got to make it look so weird? And the other option is to take a reduction in 100 armor, still get the anomaly power, get close range damage, which is better. Status power. Just don't really know what that is. But it keeps my heat wave across. Oh, wait, no, that's not correct. Because that's what I had equipped. So. Mm, critical shot supply, extra damage with ash. So I need to leave ash grasp on my whatever item has that. Mm. Though it seems like ash is more something you should do with the skill that actually turns people to ash. Create a numbing blast to inflict ash onto all enemies within a large radius around you. That at least stops them in their tracks temporarily. Oh, the cooldown. How long is our cooldown? Ugh. Ew. That's disgusting. I mean, it seems useful. It just sucks that I can't have all these things on the same screen. I can't have this abilities with their skills and the mods all on one screen so I can figure this out. This is making life very difficult. 
So I don't know that that bottom bit's particularly useful compared to that. <laughs> it's even like it's doing much extra damage. Oh, what the hell? Take the stupid crotch piece. What was they putting in your place? Oh, I don't remember now. Shit. Armor. Pants. I don't remember what the fuck I was putting on you. Oh my god. What was it? I thought I had it written down, but I didn't. It was either something to do with volcanic grounds or burning ground, probably. I don't know. That might have been on the other one. I don't remember. Next. Hands, what have we got? Oh, see, I've got doubles on things that I'm going to lose. Because it doesn't take it across. <sighs> Inflict ash on enemies within a 5 meter radius of the targeted enemy. So you could change the second one. something else so gloves two to something because I don't know that I really need to retain the volcanic rounds radiation flames I don't know if weakness is really helping me all that much I don't really know what weakness is inflicting game doesn't explain what weakness does and how much damage it takes for weakness I don't really understand the concept because I don't know where to find the information <sighs> so I get bonus firepower Cooldown reduction. Fantastic. Great. Wish it would give me a, a thingy for cooldown reduction. Not yet. Probably does. Cooldown. Global cooldown reduction. Oof. It's not much. That's kind of rough. <laughs> and feet. What have we currently got? Oh, I'm enjoying the Phantom Dash. I really am. It's fun. Uh, and that inflicts ash on enemies, but we're taking thermal bomb out, I think. You know, oh, God, half a minute cooldown. I cannot fathom that. It's revolting. Inflict ash on enemies simple radius is. I mean, anyway, it's about to explode from thermal bomb. Mm. And the highest is you. <sighs> so I can only power cooldown reduction, thank God. But I don't lose anything interesting. Skills deal additional damage. Whenever your health drops, like they percent increase. Yeah, I don't care about that. I don't care about either of those. How about you? What do you got? Oh no, you've got crap stats, and you've got crap mods. Last but not least, you barely rank above me. You give me marginal increase to cooldown. Yeah, no, I'm actually pretty good with what I got. I'm not the biggest fan. Okay, whatever. Um, boots. One, two, whatever. really know how this is gonna go I mean this must be the better skill clearly if it, it took us to level 22 to unlock it so it has to be the better option but it's such a small radius it's painful oh my god the difference in damage but why would I get rid of a piece of epic Oh, legendary I don't even use that gun Oh, it's literally all blue, so goodbye. Alright. I have a shit ton of iron and a shit ton of leather. So what are we doing? We are having to increase the weapon straight off the bat. We need to fix uh, Rising Tide. Uh, rising Tide. This, not Rising Tide. That. <laughs> My Rising Tide LMG. 
and go up two levels. Ooh, that's a good increase. Oh, and firework damage as well. And anomaly damage. Yes. Too bad it's not the cooldown. Or anomaly. Whatever. It's still cheap, which is nice. Ooh, damage goes up quite a bit there as well. Uh, on everything. It goes up exponentially. Lovely. I'll take it. You can stay back here in Plebville. I can't afford to improve you. Okay, I've really got to get my shit sorted, I tell you. Okay, mod, I, you can be increased as well. 27, 27, 27, 20. All my gear is 27. All my gear is underleveled. Oh my god. No wonder I'm dying in these battles. We appear to have unlocked more of these stupid whackers. Slapping weapons, shotgun, shield. Phantom Dash, Firepower after Roll, Resistance, Golem, Health Drops, Increases Duration of Weakness of 3% when it's on enemies. I don't know what weakness does. Please educate me. Increases your max health. Nah. That's Ashen Boost, which I'm still pretty keen for. Increases your arm. I think I need to write down what I've got. Oops whatever so what was I keeping the helmet has Pompeii which uh, use one more time Giga Blast increases radius just so I know the concept of what these abilities are actually doing nothing okay Ash. That's specifically what I was looking for. I'm like, I swear I put something with ash. Volcanic dust ash on radius. Tiny, pathetic 5 meter radius. Would have preferred the 7.5, but we'll take. Okay. Oops. There we go. Alright, so I am using ash. I don't know why I'm even clicking on you, but because I'm not changing anything. Oh, wait, I can change that, can't I? Killing is not fun. Actually, no, you're fine. Well, keep the eruption, so delete that. Armor, I'm melting slot two. We're changing whatever that is. Cool. Um, so, eruption is this. Oh, we're missing one. That's a bitch. Increase the skill's duration. How do you increase the duration of a. Of a Boom of a, 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 a volcanic explosion. How do you increase the duration? I guess I'm gonna have to see that to understand it. Throwing damage debris at enemies, dealing just ooh, oh, I like that. Increases lava damage over time. No, pathetic. And we've already got that. We've already got that, and they don't stack. So, I'm really not sure about that. But I do like hurling debris at people. That sounds fun. <laughs> it really does. Throws damaging debris at enemies. I don't know what kind of radius we're looking at, but go for it. No idea what the radius is. Oh yeah, we were looking through this, wasn't I? I got completely distracted. Ah, oh, ash. So we have ash on radius. So boosted damage against enemies afflicted with ash by 20%. So ash and boost is something we probably should get. Even though the skill is only used like once every battle, because it only works once every 30 seconds. So, there's that. Bleed. Critical shots. Apply extra four foot to enemies afflicted with... Uh, nope. Killing enemies afflicted with burn. Yeah, see, I still think that burning people makes more sense than ashing people, but whatever. Alright, so no. I saw nothing interesting on that. So that is armor... Pants. I was confused about what I was putting on this, so super. So I either keep something volcanic roundy or I do something with my overheat. See, I think third degree is useful. Increasing the weapon damage is good. 
So since we're still using overheat, I will put that in. It's overheat. Overheat's an explosive that puts burn on through. Maybe I should just be ashing that up completely, you know? Gloves, change the second to whatever. Sure. In that case, shall we just do the other one? Uh, skills duration? Why not? It's gloves and the boots, the first one to whatever. God, I'm so vague on. <laughs> to whatever! <laughs> um... It was 7.5 meters before. God, I've got everything except magma coat for that ability. I've done everything I can to make it awesome, which sucks because it's so infrequently used. Do I want to go back with one of these? Christy normally power it's active. A powerful 50% weapon damage bonus got to skill ends 15 seconds. <sighs> nope. Nope. I don't know what weakness does. The skills effective for one. I don't really need that on such a big magazine. Decreases the target's armor with seat volcanic round still sounds immensely useful. But it's only for 10 seconds. Mm. Like, does that get used once after you start the skill? Or every single time you hit a target, it has 10 seconds of less armor. See? I think some of these things are too vague to really put some faith in. So I think it's going to have to be one of these guys. I don't, and I don't understand status consumption. I don't know if the game has explained it and I've just forgotten or what, but I don't understand status consumption. Which means I can't make this ability any better. So then do we just go with blazing, ag blazing ages? 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 Nye. Yeah. Because then that... That helps with those burnt. I am assuming that correctly, right? You get burnt by using that, right? Enemies afflicted with burn receive. Enemies afflicted with burn receive the damage instead. But how do they get burn? Oh, volcanic volcanic rounds does burn! Oh my god, I'm just so thinking, yeah, it hits them real hard. But I didn't think about the fact obviously they burn because it's why they explode in fire. Okay, burn for sure. We are burning it up. Are we on boots? Sorry, Zahidi, I'm I'm playing around with you. I'm I'm just Playing with your heart, I apologize. So enemy is afflicted with burn, increases your armor. Fantastic, great. So let's put that in one. Boom. Okay. This is gonna suck. <laughs> so much for that positivity. Oh, this is, this is not, so not ideal. You're the best I can get you other than these. Do I want to use my titanium on anything else? The short answer is no. No, I do not. Because I might need it for my weapon to exponentially improve it. So, give me a second, guys. I'm, uh, I'm just going to do a bit of this. I forgot I needed targets. Never mind. <laughs> oh, 